When I was a little boy, my existence was such strife. White bread suburbia was such a tragic life. Back then at night I'd gaze into the void and empty sky. Life in white suburbia was so boring I could die. Worst of all, the pretty girls I tried to impress and woo could never take much notice of a white suburban Jew. There was an obvious path before me, and endeavor could never fail. The greatest opportunity for a sexually frustrated male. Now I'm a New York gangster, I will not suffer in silence. New York gangster, I solve my problems with violence. You ask me why I do it, this is the reason why. It's the perfect outlet for an insecure guy. I hate the way my face looks, my nose takes prominence. My skinny frame and acne break down my confidence. But there's something so empowering about embracing your brutality. And makes up for the fact that you give up all your humanity. I'm a New York gangster, more addictive than a drug. New York gangster, I'm a bona fide thug. You ask me why I do it, this is the reason why. It's the perfect outlet for an insecure guy. Every night I see starlight shining from a vacant sky. It's quiet, clean, so fresh, so pristine, and so boring I could die. And then the lights of adventure show me where I want to go. They beckon and reach out to me. I'm wrapped up in their glow. I need the lights to complete me, bring the challenge I've never dared. I would go to them right here, right now, if I wasn't just so scared. I want the lights of adventure, that's where I need to go. They reach out to me, stretching, oh so far, I'm entwined in their warm glow. What's happening to the lights, they've started to recede. Now all I see are lonely stars Please come back, those lights I need I'm gonna catch the lights of adventure That's where I'm gonna go They know I'll be there very soon To be wrapped up in their glow but overhear you, and I think I may have a solution to your problem. Well, it looks like we have a new recruit, everybody. This is Nick. Hi. <laughs> Nick here has agreed to join our fight against the Skull Gang. I, I actually had a question about that. Oh, yeah? Um, why exactly are we fighting them? Oh, well, you see, two years ago, their leader took my favorite sweater and never returned it. Uh, that's it? That's not a reason to fight people. <laughs> Listen, Nick, I know this may be hard to understand. But when you are a gangster, there's a rule about the land. Enemies are enemies, no matter how small and petty. So shoulder up your courage, clench your fists and hold and steady. Your unrelenting mother, who makes you eat your peas. Your unfair Spanish teacher, who gives you only D's. A horde of zombie cannibals who want your brain for nourishment. If they are all your enemies, they deserve equal punishment. Conquer the world, seize the day. Fight your demons, never run away. Conquer the world, stand up tall. Fight your demons, even if they're small. Cause they're always fighting for your tiniest 
adversity is worth starting a war The goal may be quite trifling, a simple thing to stop But come out at your strongest and you'll always rise up top Conquer the world, seize the day Wait, 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 wait. The Skull Gang's a bunch of little kids? Like I said, an enemy's an enemy, no matter how small. I didn't realize you were being that literal. But their leader lost my favorite sweater. They must be punished. Wait a second. I see what this is. You're not a gangster. You're just a sick bully. And you guys, you, you just hang around and because you want to belong to something that makes you feel different and special. I know because I felt the same way. You don't need this sick loser to feel special. I'm your friend. And together, we can have awesome adventures that don't require being a bully. Can someone punch that idiot out? What?